Tom Freiberg, Content Director of Aquatech Global Events here in Rotterdam for the AI WW Summit. I'm pleased to say I'm joined by Professor Mark van Loostrek, who's from the Delft University of Technology. Mark, good to see you again. Good to see you again. I wanted to really pick your brains because um, one of the, the discussions we're having here today, uh, I saw in the program, was around the circular economy 2.0. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of discussion and progress around circular economy. So what, what does this mean, circular economy 2.0? Do you think that's too far advanced where we are already, or is this future ambitions years from now? Well, the circular economy, as is discussed now, is probably not that different as it was in the past. It's, of course, you need buzzwords, you need um, bus to get things moving again. It's essentially being very resource efficient and try to reuse whatever you use with a minimum input of energy in the end. And uh, maybe the attention shifts from uh, where in the past maybe water reuse was not that much, but with the growing population, the growing need for food, water is also becoming much more important as a reusable commodity yeah. compared to, for instance, plastics or iron. I think um, water reuse has perhaps in the past been seen as an option rather than a necessity. And as mentioned by some of the speakers yes. today, the, yes. the sheer population growth is meaning that we have no choice but to reuse water. Yes, no, that's clear. Uh, partly the population grows, which means that in the, the local area you cannot catch enough water from the rain or from the river anymore and you will have to reuse. But also the population needs more food and the food production is also a big water consumer. Yeah. Which means you have to move into areas which traditionally might have not been optimal for agriculture due to lack of water and that water efficiency, because it's partly water use but also water efficiency, um, is one of the big, big issues to, to improve and to develop. From my personal point of view, uh, that recovery of resources aims at two options. One, if there's material in the water which can be reused, we should try to recover it with a minimum amount of energy and, and uh, efficiency. And like phosphate is one of these options. Um, where in the past, the tradition has, uh, the focus has been very much on one compound, struvite, because it's easy to get out of the water. Yeah. And recently, um, either due to incineration options and recovering from bottom ash or other minerals than uh, struvite, like vivianite, give completely new options and even better recovery options for phosphate than traditional ones. The second point for me is that um, in a lot of uh, countries and a lot of places, the financing of treatment plants is, an, is a difficulty to uh, get the public finance or cost recovery done. So trying to make valuable, co develop compounds out of the wastewater which has, have enough value to at least cover the operational cost of the treatment plant is not only helping a circle economy in the sense of circle economy, but might also be a good way to better introduce wastewater treatment plants in areas where it's now either too expensive or it's too difficult to do the cost recovery on a long-term range. Looking ahead a year from now, um, part of the reason of being here in Rotterdam is to take some of the themes and topics forward and kind of create the agenda next year in November. So what would you like to see as some of the, the headline <coughs> topics addressed there? Uh, first of all, I think there's still a big space for creativity about finding new ways to recover resources or develop resources out of what's now called waste in a city. Um, second point, which is uh, also an issue this morning in the, in the sessions, is uh, especially around the financing and how to, if you would recover phosphate from wastewater or if you would recover whatever from wastewater, how is the economy of that uh, influencing now the whole water sector is more or less a public utility financed in one way or another in the end by the public, either directly or through taxation. Yeah. Uh, but if you get rev if you, if there's an option for revenue creation, how would that interfere between public and private sector? And also, how can we organise that there's not like in the Netherlands 300 small units recovering phosphate and trying as 300 small say, small scale farmers to get their phosphate on the market? but how to develop corporations or other institutes which make it possible to go from uh, these small units which recover each in itself a small amount of material mm. towards bringing that into a market uh, where it can be taken up in, in, the, in the regular economy. 
So despite the, the amazing accolade of the Stockholm Water Prize, it sounds like you still have plenty left to do on your personal journey of uh, you know, wastewater recovery um, globally. So I want to wish you the best of luck, Mark. And uh, thank you for your input here today in Rotterdam. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers. See you.